instantaneous death, like 300 And Harry Truman. Is it Harry Truman? Yeah. Harry Truman is a fucking hero. Are you shitting me? There's over a million people dead in Japan. And, uh, because our fucked up government, Truman, uh, which it should be dead President's Day, and he is dead, thank God, uh, dropped two big nukes on a, a country and killed all those people, and he's considered a hero. Does that make any sense to you, Walter World? And we are celebrating by flying the fucking flag high. So happy, happy should be dead President's happy shit Day. Happy shits, happy shits. Shit should to all be these garbage freaking presidents that should be dead. That are dropping chemtrails no. on us and bombs on Iraq uh, and yeah. breaking the back of this country. Uh, stole all our money. Stole our money. Did we are, 11 to the 9 11. We're homeless. We have no civil rights. Murdery bastards. So, should be, desident, should be dead President's Day is our new holiday and we're celebrating it today. Now, make no mistake. CIA, because when you see this fucking video, you're going to say, no, I'm not making no threats to no president, because I ain't stupid, but they ought to be all dead because they're a bunch of murdering bastards, just like you are. Have a great spiritual day. Yeah. this country now! Bend him over! Come on, little piggy! Let me hear you squeal! Wee! Wee! I mean, they just literally, there's a big butcher knife in a, in a press center going, ah, 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 shit, wait till we get the American people scots. God, we're going to kill them. We're going to take everything they got, like the Red Terror. Oh, we love it. Oh, yeah. Hollywood is owned by the Arabs. How dare them not submit to us and our divine will with geniuses. No, okay. fuck you. Fuck you. Ah, you're here. We're going to feed on your ass. Fellas, my brain isn't fucking working. I've been drinking beer. You go to prisonplanet.com, if you go to infowars.com, prisonplanet.com, the InfoWars Twitter account on infowars.com, and prisonplanet.com. You just hey. go ahead and come up there, you little cowardly soft twit. I dare you to come up to me in New York, you little punk. What is your major malfunction? I started listening to Alex Jones. Uh, right when he came out with the movie uh, 9-11 The Road to Tyranny. Uh, now I have been following truth for 10 years. Uh, a lot of people are new to this thing. I was recently I was doing a search on Alex Jones. I was just trying to, you know, see what I could find on the internet about him. I was just curious about his background, where he came from, how he started. And I found an old interview, a bit of it, and I, th I think it was from on Coast to Coast with uh, Nuri. Anyway, the article has disappeared since then. And Alex Jones said on it, or it said on it that he was, uh, he started off in radio as really kind of acting like a crazy Eddie. Like they mentioned crazy Eddie. Beat the heat with a fan or air conditioner from Crazy Eddie. Get the guaranteed lowest sale prices anywhere on electric fans and air conditioners. It's going to be a long, hot summer, and the prices of electric fans and air conditioners are going to go up, up, up with the temperature. So he was very famous, uh, this guy, and he had, like, this frantic, you know, running around, getting in your face. His prices are insane. It's Crazy Eddie Day. You'll save money like never before during Crazy Eddie's Crazy Eddie Day sale with the guaranteed lowest prices on anything and everything in home entertainment. Shop around, get the lowest sale prices you can find, then go to Crazy Eddie and he'll beat them. It's Crazy Eddie Day. Save big, big, big bucks during Crazy Eddie's Crazy Eddie Day sale. Crazy Eddie, his prices are insane. Thanks a lot. So Anything and everything in home entertainment. Crazy Eddie's Double Barrel Grand Opening Sale. It's his greatest grand opening sale ever. Going on now at all 11 great locations with prices that are insane. Now you have to understand that the people who are behind Alex Jones are the same people that have been behind many, many movements. And they know exactly what to do and exactly what to say to make them believable and to get a lot of followers uh, one thing they do is they have a whole bunch of plants in there that are in on it and they act like they're just followers you know that are diehard followers and 
Um, they emphasize and agree with and make all the points that Alex Jones makes. I was listening to Alex Jones the other night and he was just, I couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe my ears. He was just going, uh, he was going crazy and he was trying to just make it seem like at any minute the government was going to come into all our homes and separate us from our children, put us on a train and bring us to a um, concentration camp. And he had some quote-unquote pastor on that and said that if you don't take up arms and fight against the government, your uh, soul is automatically doomed to hell. Thousands of thousands of preachers going around telling their flocks to go to the FEMA camps. Alex Jones set up that thing with President Bush asking him a question and getting arrested. These are the types of things that they do to make it look like they're legitimate. Now, it's not true. It's just a show. Alex Jones is an actor. Anytime Alex Jones does something elaborate, it's, it's a fraud. When he went to New York and got arrested, it was a fraud. When he went to the Bilderberg and then Canadian and got held at the Canadian border, it was a fraud. When he went to Bohemian Grove, it's a fraud. When he did the Waco thing, as a fraud. He stabbed to get people in the back. Uh, when he got arrested for not for refusing to fingerprint, it was a fraud. When he got arrested for asking Bush a uh, question, it was a fraud. It's a fraud. The man's a fraud. I'm not going to tie down the pentagram with, with uh, Henry Kissinger's fat belly hanging over me while he's naked with a big dagger, am I? Bush, Governor Bush running around in a pink tutu, foaming at the mouth with a purple wig on, am I? Uh, no. <laughs> Do you think that Alex's temperament is such that he'll be able to maintain the stealth needed to undertake his operation? Well, I think Alex is... Um not only a great activist and a great broadcaster, but he's also a great actor. So as long as he's able to think of what he's doing as acting, like if he has to infiltrate as a, you know, guy carrying a golf bag and be very... And the future will be able to do more. We have knocked your teeth out and drug you and thrown you in a cell for a couple of weeks and taken your home. Then you won't cause trouble. And then later, even if you submit to us, we're going to load you on helicopters and cattle cars and take you to the FEMA facilities. <laughs> it is your destiny to be our slave. Worldwide neo-fascist plantation. Don't go to Infowars.com. Don't learn about the true secret society that I, Lord Vader, am based on. Don't learn about the order of death. Don't learn why the Nazis wore the death sheds on their helmets. Don't learn about Bohemian Road. Just listen to my master as he tells you how government works and how it operates and how all of you will be much better off if you submit to the control of the new world order. But soon, my minion, George Bush, and his controllers will carry out new, even more devastating attacks that dwarf 9-11 that will be minuscule in comparison to the horror that we're about to bring forward on you and your people. You'll never figure it out until it's too late. And by then, <laughs> our control will be complete. Now is the time for you to submit and to give in to your fear to us, to serve us. It would be better for you to join the Sith as this movie portrays us. But it'll be better for you to join the true order, the true order of death. There's family members, you get out of here, doctors, engineers, scientists, celebrities standing off from another level of shoes. Don't you touch me again. Lick my boots! This ain't good enough! Begging ain't good enough, boy! Get out there on the ground! Lick my boots! I'm gonna piss on you now! <laughs> you ain't run here, Carter, now, boy! I, I don't like using techniques that assholes use um, to, to try and control public opinion. Um, and Alex Jones, I think he recognizes, uh, you know, politicians and corporations and all these other people, religions, of using these techniques. But he feels that he's, ju he's validated in using them, he's justified in using these techniques. 
because it's for the good fight. I don't like that about him. Praying to me, that's not enough of a grovel. Lick him, lick the boot. Here, here. Now I want you to lick him that way. Lick him this way. You learn, you scum, you civilian trash. You pay my check right now. Oh, yeah. You pieces of trash. You do what I say. Lick it. Lick that boot, boy. Lick it all over. That's good. <laughs> I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna hit you, and then if you, you don't like it, I'm gonna tame you. I'll, I'll do what I want. I'll do what I want. I got the power. I'm a cop. Yeah.